What you got for us, Jeff? Well, Nick, what we've got is this is a Concept Luna. And the way to think about Concept Luna is, uh, as the name suggests, it is a concept. It's where we gave our engineering, our designers, the ability to think about what if. What if, unconstrained, you could build the most sustainable circular PC that's you know easy to repair, easy to harvest uh, the components out of it. Uh, and it's something that we came up with two years ago and we've actually continued to evolve the concept. Uh, earlier this year, we evolved the concept where we show um, taking in the intelligence that we put in our devices around our support where we can track the telemetry around the components in the system. So think of it like your car, you know, you've got the odometer and your how many miles you're, you're you're driving up on your on your on your car. Similar idea here, like you know, how many miles or how many hours you're using your battery, your display, your system board. And the idea then is that the device could be taken into a, a, a micro factory. The micro factory would then scan the actual device, its QR code. Uh, the QR code itself then would um, present the telemetry on the screen in terms of what needs to be replaced or repaired uh, from the system. And then the next phase then is we, we create a micro factory would then actually robotically disassemble the device and then harvest or replace the components within Luna uh, so that you can continue to use the device. So that was really the, the, the design goal of it. And, and here's what you see today. So it's a fully working laptop, um, very similar to maybe one of our Latitude 5000 series in terms of size and weight. You know, it's running an Intel-based architecture in there. It's got, I think it's 10 cores in there right now. It's got eight gigs of RAM. 256 gig flash storage built into it, uh, full HD display. It's got touch, as you can see, and it's got a built-in web camera in the product. So fully operational and um, working today. So I guess if we want to take a closer look, I can show you um, how uh, easy uh, Luna is to disassemble and replace the components. So the first thing we'll do is, uh, obviously, we might want to shut down the device. So let's do that. Shut down. Yep, shut it down, please. So, the uh, next thing we'll do is, oh, hang on, let's make sure it's off. Just give it a second. All right, now it's off. So, we'll disconnect the power. So, I'll just close it here. So, on the side here, you'll see that it looks like a, a noble lock slot. So, pretty average. Uh, I normally do this demo with a tip of a pen, but I'll just use a little uh, tool I have here. But, you know, I've used the tip of a biro for this. So I'm just going to pop this in here, you'll hear a little noise. Ooh. So, uh, so that's what we call the keystone. So the keystone allows me to take off this uh, plastic here. So I'll just maybe use my fingers up right here. Pretty hard when you walk into the back. So there we go. It's a live demo, so it's going to like go, there you go. completely. So once we, we take off that, I'll just lay it flat like this. So first thing we're going to do is take off the keyboard. So I'll just slide the keyboard up. Let's make sure it's slide out. So that's the keyboard. Uh, first thing on the keyboard you'll notice is it has some connectors on here. So you can see all these little edge connectors on here. So it's really important that uh, they, these play a role with some of the components and how they interact with the system. First thing you'll notice is there's no wires. Right? Typically when you uh, open a laptop you'll see a wire in here for the display, for your wireless antennas or for your wireless WAN, your 4G, 5G cards. So there's, there's no wires in here. So let's start uh, taking it apart. So if you're familiar with a Dell laptop, or sorry, a Dell desktop or server, you see blue. So is anybody, if, you, if you're familiar with the blue, do you know what the blue means? You can so. remove items, right? So the blue designates that you can remove items. So again, we continue that on here. So first thing I'll do is take out the battery. So this slid that up there. So there's the battery. So next thing we'll do is we'll take out the speakers. So these are your left and right speakers. So let's take those out there. And you can see there, there's no wires there. We have these little connectors that interface with uh, the keyboard. This concept actually has a fan in it. When we originally introduced the, the concept originally, we had a fanless design. And the idea was to dissipate the heat from the LCD back. But, you know, feedback we received, people want more performance. So we put a higher performance processor in there, a higher performance Intel processor in there, and as such, you need to be able to cool it. So we have a fan. And the fan itself, slide it back. 
and that's uh, easy to remove. So then what we have left then in the, in the base of the chassis here is the system board. So I'll just take out the system board here. So I'm just going to slide this forward and that's the system board. So the system board obviously has the processor on there, the memory, uh, the storage and also the wireless card on there. Um, so the next thing that's left to be removed then is really just the display. So uh, from here, I need my glasses actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> my, my eyesight is not that good. So uh, we need to flip off this connector here. So this just pops up. Just give me one second here. So that's it for the display. And then this would come off here. I really should use a, um, a guitar pick for that. So. Is that the technical term for it? A guitar pick or well, is it just the perfect thing you, for it? You can use a scribe. The guitar pick is good, like a plastic pry, you know, mm -hmm. is what you yeah. need. Um, just give me one second here. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's pry it off. Yeah, I think you should be using it. Uh, I believe you that this is a lot, lot easier than otherwise still. It is actually <laughs> fairly straightforward. You know what? I might just leave it. I might just leave it for the moment. Well, Give him a free pass for like live demo. Yeah. Well, basically, if this plastic we come off here, I don't have my guitar pick here. I'll well, just put that back down, actually. Let's put that back in. But if I had the guitar pick, I'd just flip it open. Let's make sure. I'll edit this bit, don't worry. Okay, thanks. <laughs> it takes a bit longer than I thought. So, actually, I've loaned this out in Melbourne. So, I'm going to work with them here. Let's just keep it turn around so I can see what I'm doing. The chassis itself is made out of um, hydro-powered aluminum, so it's all, you know, again, trying to reduce the carbon emissions, so we use hydro-powered aluminum on the product uh, to keep it down. But there you go, that's basically Project Luna. Almost as easy as Lego. Mm. <laughs>